Well, the A-League returns to Ballarat for the third time this season, a venue where Western United are unbeaten in their last four fixtures with two wins and two draws. Another win today will propel the champions into the top six for the first time this season, even if their stay might be relatively brief, depending upon what happens in Adelaide a little later. Central Coast Mariners, though, will be a tough nut to crack after a rather lengthy post-World Cup wobble. Nick Montgomery's team seem to be back on track. Their 4-1 thumping of Brisbane last week, enough for them to retake third place on the ladder. Their second such win in three matches. Here's the team news. A couple of changes for Western United. Josh Risden returns at right back after serving a suspension and resumes the captaincy. Interestingly, Tomoki Imai pays the price with Nikolai Topol Stanley retained in the centre of defence alongside Leo Lacroix. Up front, it's Lockie Wales alongside Noah Botic with Alexander Prijevic not part of the match day squad. He's feeling under the weather. Dylan Perias retains his spot on the right flank and it's Nikolai Topol Stanley's 400th career appearance all told today. Former Mariner Michael Roos is on the bench alongside Alessandro Diamanti. James Troisi and Neil Kilkenny still absent with injury. As Jamie Young, nobody's made more saves in the A-League this season than him. 94 all told for the 37-year-old, but only three clean sheets. As for the Mariners, they're unchanged with no fresh injury concerns. Jason Cummings... Now very much has the golden boot within his sights. Three behind Jamie McLaren after scoring five goals in his last six matches. Former Western United striker Dylan Wenzel Halls is on the bench, as is Christian Thea Harris, who played just 67 minutes in his four games for the Green and Black. And both will be looking to drive a nail into their former club's finals hopes. John Aloisio as a player, of course, featured for the Mariners in the 2008 Grand Final, spending a solitary year in Gosford, where he scored seven goals in 15 games. And Nick Montgomery racks up the half-century of matches in charge of the Mariners today. He's led them to the Australia Cup Final, the playoffs, but it's that elusive piece of silverware that no doubt remains the target. Mariners kick us off in their chain strip of predominantly all white. If it is Easter Friday, it must be Ballarat, home of the gold rush. Today we hope for a gold rush, Daniel McBreen. Good afternoon, Simon. Well, it's a massive game, more so for Western United, I would say. I think the Mariners have probably sealed a spot in the finals, considering the chasing pack is now some distance behind, but still mathematically possible. Western United told me four or five weeks ago that they were going to be in this position where they're playing for finals, I would have laughed you out of the room. But three successive wins and here they are. And it's the tables have turned and now they look like they're trying to sneak their way in. So all to play for today. And push forward by Ballard, laid off by Cummings. Now with Marco Tullio. As Nkololo outside him. Might not need him, Marco Tullio. Going to have a go here. And that deflection took all the sting out of it for Topper Stanley. Here's Lachlan Wales. Handy ball. And Connor Payne will track it down. Two in the box. Third arriving. And top of the box is Tongo Dumbia. They cut right across that ball. That's a lovely touch from Tulio. Moved on quickly by Nisbet out towards Nkololo, who's around Josh Nisbet or Josh Risden with ease. And it could be a goal here, no. Jamie Young standing firm. Here's Dylan Perez, who's got away from McGarry. Still going. Dylan Perez. Oh. A matter of centimetres wide. Well, it was a great run from Dylan Perez, showing his pace and his guile. He had support play runners as well. Rocky Wales was running in behind. You see here he leaves James McGarry for dead. And as Brian Keltec comes out, Rocky Wales made the run in behind. He decided to go inside and rather just dragged his shot wide of the post. It's McGarry. 
but a fraction short for Cummings. Josh Risden able to intervene. Oh, Lockie Wales, what's he thinking there? Cummings for Tullio, and it's side netting in there. A little bit fortunate to get away with that, Weston. That was just a complete brain fade. Garuccio. Played the ball behind all the Western attackers. How about that for a ball from Marco Tullio to open up the field for the Mariners. It's two on one here. Silvera and coming surely too easy for the central coast mariners one end of the field to another what a ball initially from marco tulio sammy silvera drew the defender and jason cummings did the rest six goals in seven games now for the Socceroo, and he's closing in even further on jamie mclaren for the golden boots well we'll see here on the harvey norman replay he's back to play Marco Tullio with a fantastic turn and ball to release Sammy Silvera. And now it was a case of trying to draw in the defence, take him on yourself, and then decides to square it on to prolific Jason Cummings to tap away. And that all started with a wonderful ball from Marco Tullio at the other end, opening up the Western United defence. And from there on, it was too easy for the Mariners. Here's the corner. And turned towards goal by Connor Payne. That could have gone anywhere, still could. Before Triantis gets it partly away. Back in by Garuccio. Top of Stanley at the back post. And comfortably fielded in the end by Vukovic. Perias looking for an option and none was forthcoming. He gets away from Cummings though. He's done really well, Dylan Perias. And the cross found Lacroix, but he was a long way out. Difficult to generate the direction of the power. Payne. Here's Lockie Wales. Vukovic out quickly, bravely, and effectively. And I fancy the flag might have been up as well against Lockie Wales, but better signs for Western United. Rue. Oh, Ballard got his radar completely off there. Dug out by Dumbia, but it breaks here for Cummings. And then Silvera with a snapshot from the edge of the box. Worth a go. Yeah, you don't mind it from there. The ball spilled out. And the little reverse ball looking for but not finding Josh Nisbet. That's the biggest size differential you'll see in a contest all afternoon. Oh, and Silvera was reaching in for that. Play goes on. Here's Benny and Cololo. Found the angle and finds the corner of the net. And it's two for the Central Coast Mariners. But was there a foul in the build-up there? Western United are protesting. The goal stands. Benny and Kalolo on the score sheets. Western not happy about it. But now they trail by two. Well, VAR will be looking at it. And I think our first reaction was it could have been a foul as the ball comes back here on the Harvey Norman replay. Well, the referee is right there. He can see it clearly. Allows play to go on. And then Kalolo gets the strike away. Here's the challenge again. Probably can't see from that angle, but as it comes to Nkololo, just shifts it onto his left foot too easily on the slip. Gets a pass and on the slide from Jamie Young, can't do anything. And it's a nice finish into the bottom corner. Helped on by Silvera towards Jason Cummings. Those two combined for the opening goal, of course. Threaded through, nobody's gone with Tulio. the cutback. Tulio first the loose ball, it's Silvera and McGarry. Side netting. Oh, they worked that really well, the Central Coast. Here's Perias into the box. Can they get on the boards? Just wide. Fractionally from Dylan Perias. Garuccio, Western ending the first half with a sustained spell of possession. Here's Risden. And looking to hang it up towards that near post, but Vukovic grabs it ahead of Botic. Yep, they need to go for broke. Big half-time team talk coming up for John Aloisi. Two big talking points in the first half. 
The first, a glorious ball forward from Marco Tullio to Sammy Silvera, who then teed up Jason Cummings for his 16th of the season. And then 10 minutes before the break, did Sammy Silvera foul Josh Risden in the build-up to Benny and Cololo's second goal? Western thought that he did. Crucially, the officials disagreed upon VAR review. Weston have pushed as the first half through to a close. A couple of chances for Dylan Parias, but they've got an awful lot of work to do in the second half. At the break, it's Weston United nil, Central Coast Mariners two. Doesn't look as though either coach has made any changes as the second half gets back underway. And one thing we do know about the Mariners, Daniel McBreen, is that in the second halves of games this season, they've been very, very good. 27 goals they've scored. That's more than any other team in the competition. Well, yeah, they tend to finish their games quite well, don't they? Uh, I think it's up to Western United now to really turn the tables and, and come out a million miles an hour. Commit plays forward, try and catch Central Coast Mariners at their own game. And it's at that stage of the season now where they really need to bite the bullet and go for it. Chested down by Tullio. Cummings alongside, chance here perhaps for Benny and Cololo. And on the turn, he skied it. Really good chance for the Mariners perhaps to put the game to bed. Yeah. It's a really good opportunity early in the second half. Great play from Tilio. Again, he gets to bring the ball down at the edge of the box and turn too easily. And it's a great run from Incololo from the pass of Cummings. And he knows he should have done better. And again, the Mariners winning the ball back high up. Another chance here for Incololo as he overplayed it. Little back heel, it's in. It's three, or is it? Sammy Silvera put the ball in the net, but the offside flag is up. Here's Tulio. Mariners are on the move again. Storm Roo just checking the run to stay on side. The cutback. Tullio, great save from Jamie Young to keep Weston alive. And the flag is up again. Wouldn't have counted. Half is Lockie Wales driving forward. Can he find an angle for a shot? Tees up Connor Payne. Triantis making the block. Here's Thea Harris driving forward for the Mariners. Garuccio in hot pursuit. Cummings in space. Jason Cummings, another good stop by Jamie Young. The game's starting to really open up now. The Harris again. Nisbet. Touched by Nkololo. Nisbet's trying to seek out Cummings. Here's Thea Harris. Didn't quite set himself properly. Lustica's intervention. Riston, they just can't get out. Weston. Threaded through nicely. Western defence stood like statues. Cummings oh, and just needed a touch. Jamie Young applied it. Here's Thea Harris. And it's too high for Cummings. And the whistle goes. But they're living on the edge, Western United. Well, Jamie Young's keeping the minutes at the moment. Payne. Too heavy for Piraeus. And they've looked a little flat going forward, haven't they, today, Western United? Almost at times look a little devoid of ideas, Western. Yeah, we've seen them on a number of occasions. I wouldn't say argue, but have words where there hasn't been any movement. And then in transition, the Mariners always looking threatening. Here's Uncololo. Cummings in position, looking to chip Jamie Young. Not the direction he wanted. But every time they go forward, they look as though they could score Central Coast Mariners. Diamante. Risden. Mariners keeping their shape. Eventually they find a gap, Weston, for Piraeus. And the cross is too high for Payne. Well, it's not a chance created, but it's better pressure. And it all came about from that initial release from Diamante. Yeah. A little bit of extra quality. Yeah. Yep, it is going to be Diamante to deliver towards the back post, which is where Topple Stanley was stationed. Scarley will prevent the ball going out just. Payne hanging it up, and Dumbia slightly off balance. 
Well, what they really want is the two goals that he got against Western Sydney earlier in the season. <laughs> That'd do too. They cannot afford to concede a third. McGarry and Jason Cummings. 3-0, surely game over. Ah, offside. Flag, offside. Another one rubbed out for the Central Coast. Yeah, I think it was clear. The original run down the left-hand side, straight into an offside position. Here's a chance potentially for Western Roos. It's a good chase back from Nectar Triantis at the expense of a corner. Diamantes delivery, plenty of flights. Lacroix at the back post. And clear by Jason Cummings almost off the goal line. Diamante spin robbed of the ball by McGarry and bursting through the middle is Uncololo. This to finish it, Benny Uncololo. And he's put it over the top. What a miss. Well, that's an ordinary finish, that, isn't it? And he'll be hoping that Western United don't make a comeback because that'll be the moment that they'll be looking back at. Riston. Jockeying for position with McGarry. And he found, found the angle for the cross. behind for a corner which has already been taken Diamante in with wicked whip free kick for Western Diamante and behind off Uncololo there's Dylan Wenzel Hall's on against the club with whom he won the championship Last season, of course, it was just his uh, second appearance off the bench. Attack the ball is the message. Cluster around the near post. Benny and Kalolo wins an important header. Jacob Farrell scoops it forward, chested down by Risden. No foul, and the Mariners can break forward here. The Aharis. Squally restoring order for Weston. Ruse with strength to hold off Harrison Steele and then a heavy touch. Rios again. Fleet of foot. Really good recovery, it must be said. By Jacob Farrell, who's replaced James McGarry in that left fullback role. Keep ball from the visitors. That's a handy reverse little ball from Steele, though, to release Uncololo, catching Weston totally unawares. And he managed to get the cross in, pulled away by Young. Well, that's a great touch from Jamie Young. It's to take nothing away from the Mariners, who've been ultra professional in the way they've gone about their business. Oh, Diamante stopped unceremoniously in his tracks. Advantage played. With the Italian still down in back play. Piraeus. And Nisbet made the block. And Vukovic prevents the corner. Same old. Yep, nothing wrong in that for me. It was a heavy tackle, but nothing wrong in my eyes. Contact sport. Scooped out wide by Caltech. It's clever by Risden. Diamante. Looking to float it towards Michael Ruse, who nods it back and Payne arriving. And there's uh, a collision. Which is a sore one for Payne and for Storm Root. And the Mariners will get a free kick, even though they're Western fans. Want VAR to give them a penalty. 
again, it's that man, Diamante, a lovely ball into that back post. Ruse does well to try and nod it down, and both players looking for the ball. Well, Payne just comes in a little late, wants to get the strike away. Yeah, Horace didn't anticipate that. Oh, and then had a little bit of a nibble at Nikolai Topol Stanley. Oh, this game has just eked its way to the final result, hasn't it? Unless we see a miracle as we see that late challenge from Thea Harris. No need there. After the break, the Mariners really have been in cruise control. Yeah, they have. They took their opportunities well in the first. And this could seal it. And wouldn't you know it, Dylan Wenzel Halls against the club he left to join the Mariners with his first for his new club. And the three points are secure for Nick Montgomery's team. Well, they've had a number of opportunities in this second half to kill the game off, and they haven't done so. And the Harvey Norman replay will show it's just a long ball through. Maresh peeling off the back post. Nikolai Topless standing is the only defender there. Couldn't do anything to stop the two Mariners' attacks. Maresh with a lovely chested pass down to Wenzel Halls, and he'll be loving scoring against his old team. The smile says it all there. Yeah, that sums it up. From Western's point of view. And there we go. A comfortable win. A very professional performance by the Central Coast Mariners. Their first in nine years and 28 games in the state of Victoria. Dylan Wenzel Halls with the goal that made it 3 0 in stoppage time against his former club. Before that, Jason Cummings from Sammy Silvera's assist and prior to that Marco Tullio's gorgeous release and the second goal the really big talking point whether Josh Risdom was fouled before Benny and Kalalo slotted the ball home but the Mariners back in the groove surely now nailed on for the finals as Weston again missed the chance to move into the top six Nick Montgomery's 50th game in charge ends in a vital three points and Western must now face the top two in consecutive weeks. And they'll probably need to win both if they're to make the six. Full time in Ballarat, Western United nil, Central Coast Mariners three.